Okay, so for this, we're we're going to look at these expressions down here, and we're just going to see if they're always, sometimes, or never true. And then if they're sometimes true, describe the conditions in which they will be they will be or will not be true, if that makes sense. So again, I'm going to use these this the these rules over and over again um, to see if this is if this is so. So the very first one we look at is this one, and it it's very like oh this looks exactly like the quotient rule. You just want to go through, um, you just want to go through and figure out a couple of things. Number one, the easiest place that I will um, that that students will make a mistake is because these bases are not the same. So first thing, check your bases, okay? Because notice here, all of your bases are the exact same, okay? Here. The quotient rule says if it's division inside the log, you expand it by doing subtraction outside of the logs, okay? So this one is gonna be always true. Um, and then the caveat here is just that X can't be zero, just like it couldn't be zero. If you ever ask Siri, if you divide by zero, it she tells you something funny. So just keep that in mind. So this one is always true. I'm gonna type because I type faster than I, um, script here. I'm just make this a tad bigger, and then let's just highlight it. Okay, so um, this is always true, um, but x can't be zero. Ms. Johnson, why can't why can't x be zero? Sorry, why can't x be zero? Well, x can't be zero because uh, you can't divide by zero. Okay, so you're going to see that over and over again here because that's going to be that case. So what about 12? What do you think about 12? Yeah, this one is always true. Right? So this one's always true because, um, so it looks like the division rule, right? The quotient rule, because I have subtracting here. And whenever you have subtracting, that means it's gonna be on the bottom. So I have an X on the bottom and an X on the bottom. X times X is X squared. So yeah, this, this looks true. This is al also always true. Again, as long as X is not zero, okay? What about 13? What about 13? Yes or no? Take a risk. Go public chat, guys. Come on. Is this true? That's what we're asking. Always true, sometimes it's true, never true. Oh, they got you. This is never true. <laughs> you guys are funny. They got you. Uh, never, never true. Tell me why this can't be true. Look very carefully. Now you guys have young eyes, right? You guys have really good eyes and you guys like look at things and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a flick on this one. And I don't know there's, this is, this is basically like, do you remember that, 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 um, what was it? What is it called? I always forget the name. Um, like there's two pictures, one on the left and one on the right. And you're supposed to find out what the differences are. What is it called? Uh, same difference, differences, find the difference, spot the difference, one of those things. So you're supposed to spot the difference. So does this look like this? And everyone should say no, right? You should all say no. Yeah, because you guys all got tricked. Ha ha, you guys got tricked. I'm just kidding. So um, I'm glad that you got tricked because what? If you get tricked here, where won't you get tricked possibly? Yeah, on the test. And do you want to get tricked on the test? Everyone's like, no, no, Mr. Johnson, we don't want to get tricked on the test. Exactly. Okay. So do you see why or how I tried to trick you here? Yeah, right there. Look, it's not supposed to that. It's supposed to say log, one log of X over Y. Got it? Ha ha. Yeah, never true, Ms. Johnson. Okay, very good. What about this one? Five log X equals log X to the fifth. Yeah, you guys are so funny. True, 
I think. Yes, this is going to be always true, but there is a caveat. Ms. Johnson, what's that caveat? Well, I can't take the log of something that's negative. So X has to be greater than zero. Reminding you of this fancy picture in Desmos. Sorry, this is not the fancy picture I wanted. I wanted this one of log X. So let me type log X really quick. Oops, not log, there, log X. Notice Ms. Johnson, there's nothing on the negative side. Yeah, because you can't take the log of a negative number. Ms. Johnson, why can't you take the log of a negative number? Well, if you remember what our definition of log is, right? Our definition of log goes like this, right? So log base B of X equals to Y means B to the Y equals X. Now here, if you take the log of something negative, it's gonna show up, I promise. Um, if you take the log, if you take the log of, of a negative number, I'm saying, hey, B to the what gives me negative 10? B to the what gives me, no, you can never get a negative 10 if your B is positive. So everybody okay with that? Perfecto. Okay, 15. Um, what about this one? Two log X plus log five is equal to log X squared plus five. Sometimes, always, never. What do you think? What are you thinking? Yes, no, maybe so. What do you think? Very good, very good. Oh, this one's this one split, you guys. I've got never, never, sometimes, always. <laughs> you guys are like, I don't know, Miss Johnson. This one's confusing. Um, this one is actually a never. So for those of you who got never, very good. Now be very careful. Look, look through here. I know you guys are frustrated. Oh, Miss Johnson. Um, okay. So the reason why for me this didn't work. Now, two here means x squared inside right? Two on the outside means X squared on the inside. I got that. I got that X squared. And this one was log base five. So, but plus on the outside of the logs means what's on the inside. Plus on the outside means what? Plus on the outside. Oh, it means times on the inside, Miss Johnson. So yeah, this one's never true. Miss Johnson, never true. Miss Johnson. Ah, uh, yeah. Hopefully you're getting these wrong and you're like, why did I get it wrong? Because if you get it wrong and you reflect right now, then you won't get it wrong during the test. I promise. All right, number 16. What do you think? Yay, nay, yay or nay? Yay, oh, nay. <laughs> you guys are like, no. You guys are funny. Nay, Miss Johnson. Nay. You have to say it with a like an accent. Nay. I do not agree. I abstain. Um, okay, sorry. This is Miss Johnson using random accents because she takes participation points. Um, the answer is dun -da -da -da, always true. Miss Johnson, why? Okay, so I'm gonna remind you that the square root. Um, square root of X is rewritten as X to the one half. Square root of X is equal to X to, I know you guys are so funny right now, X to the one half. Thank you for saying it's in a British accent. Um, so this is always going to be true as long as X is greater than zero. My iPad is not cooperating right now. So X is greater than zero. So this down here, it says if X, uh, the square root of X is equal to X to the one half. So when you see this square root constantly think, oh, I know you, you're X to the one half. And if you have a power in there, then it becomes your coefficient out here. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yes or no. Number 17, last but not least. Yes or no. Yes, very good. It is a no, never true. Maybe you guys can be like, oh, never. It will never be true. So this one, um, to me, because you guys messed up over here, 
then this one made it more obvious. Am I right? So for those of you who messed up here, do you see how that knowledge, that mess up here made you go, no, 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 Ms. Johnson, you're not going to get me again. So that hopefully makes sense to you when I tell you guys make mistakes here because it's safe here. Like I don't take away points. Like it's not like it's not safe during the test, but it actually costs you, right? So hopefully this makes sense. If if not, go back through these and really study this versus this, because all the answers were found here. Okay. All right. 